What's up guys, Tong Da. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is my fireplace right here. And up there is my chimney. I haven't cleaned it for a while. I mean, a long while. I over a decade. So I finally removed the uh, fireplace insert. Now I can go ahead and uh, clean up the chimney before I install another fireplace insert in there. So my neighbor lent me his uh, chimney cleaner. Unfortunately, uh, he couldn't find the rest of the uh, poles. This is only the three foot long one. And it screwed onto the brush over here. And it's a little too short for my chimney. And they do sell the uh, extension. I think they run about 15 bucks. Uh, it's a four foot long pole. So I need to get at least two of them to have enough pole length to reach the uh, bottom of my uh, fireplace. So Yes, I can go ahead and buy the uh, the poles, and once I finish using the poles, I'm probably gonna store it away and, and won't use it for quite some time. I probably lose them by the next time I need to use them. So let me go ahead and show you how to make an extension uh, to attach this uh, brush pole right here. And uh, I need to find something I can connect it to here. I have a couple of ideas that might work. I put extra well on here. I want to make sure it's nice and strong. And so this way, burn my gloves, still hot. So uh, I want this to be nice and strong. So when I'm cleaning the chimney, I do not want anything to break off and cause any kind of delay. There's plenty of well on here and it won't go anywhere. Another idea I got, um, you can also use either plastic uh, conduit pipe or PVC pipe. This is a half inch right here. What you could do is uh, insert the clamp and the rod in here and heat it up and shape it, then tighten it up. To heat up the pot, you can use a torch or a heat gun or whatever you got available. I'm going to heat up the pipe, soften it. Unfortunately, my torch is out of propane. Let's do the heat gun. Uh, 
Now he's soft. Go ahead and insert this in here. If you have more than one clamp, you can clamp this down a little bit. And you can go ahead and let it cool down or spray some water in it to help it cool down quicker. Now you have an extension attached to your existing pole or just the uh, the brush itself. Of course you're gonna get a PVC pipe that's a lot longer. They come in 8 and 16 feet I, I believe. And that's how you do it. Um, real simple. And also the uh, the pipe is flexible as well. Allow you to uh, work a little easier when the, uh, the pole is inside the chimney. I went ahead and cooled it down with water. And now secure. Actually it's pretty tight in there. I'm not sure I can get it out. But uh, it's in there. I can't even turn it no more. Now this thing is stuck in there good. So you know, for me to get it out and return this pole to my neighbor, I need to heat it up and pull it out. But yeah, it's, it's not going nowhere. So this is one way you can do if you don't have all the necessary equipment. Just heat up uh, a long half inch uh, PVC pipe or, or conduit pipe and just do what I did using a clamp and secure it down now you got extension and I believe you can buy one of these pipes cheaper than you can buy the the uh, the uh, pole extension I think you're gonna spend around 30 to 40 bucks for two poles uh, compare to one of these uh, eight foot PVC pipe pipe cost you about less than ten dollars. So here I have the metal conduit pipe. Um, I weld a nut on here. This is actually the castle nut that has the uh, same thread as the uh, pole extension. The problem is that when I weld the uh, castle nut onto the pipe, these little fingers right here, or crown, whatever you call them, uh, they got hot, it's such a warp, and now I can't put the, uh, I can't thread them together. If you have a nut, that works just fine. The problem using a metal pole is, uh, it is kind of heavy, and it's not as flexible, but it is doable. I found out the best are the two uh, plastic pipes. So this is a half inch PPC pipe and this is a half inch half inch conduit pipe. Either of these will work just fine. I use the uh, heat gun is the best way of softening these plastic up.
and test it see it's soft you can see it's soft it's pliable go ahead and put go ahead and insert the uh, extension or the brush into here and using an uh, impact driver I'm gonna tighten it up And if you have a wet towel, you can uh, apply it to it, you cool it down. I put some water on it to cool it down. This thing will not go anywhere. It's, it's still tight in here. Now you can go ahead and ch clean your chimney. And just go and attach this piece to it and I can get to work. So this brush right here I start out with about four foot in length. Now I'll just add another additional eight foot in there. Probably take about 10 minutes to uh, do everything. And it's very strong. And when you're done with it, you can go and use a heat gun and just soften the uh, plastic right there and separate them. I hope this little tip will help you uh, save some time and money by using a PVC pipe to attach it to your, uh, your chimney brush. Alright, thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.